This video provides an overview of Liquid Studio. Liquid Studio is an advanced integrated development environment containing all of the tools needed for designing, developing and testing XML and JSON applications complying with the W3C standards along with REST and SOAP web services. Features include an XML editor, XML schema editor, JSON editor, JSON schema editor, a data mapping tool for transforming XML and JSON data, XPath and XQuery debugger, WSCL editor, web service tools, integration with Microsoft Visual Studio, and much more. Liquid Studio is a Windows application with a familiar user interface. The start page enables you to open recent files and projects and provides quick access wizards to help you perform common tasks such as generating documentation from an XML schema. Opening a project, displays a tree of the project's various files in the Project Explorer window. Opening an XML schema will create a new tab and show a split graphical design view and text-based source visualization of the schema. These views are automatically kept in sync, so adding a new element in the graphical view is instantly reflected in the source view. You can choose to just display the design view, or the source view, or both. Selecting an item in the design view displays the item's properties in an editable grid in the properties window. You can also change the name or the type of an item in place within the graphical view. Hovering over an item displays a tooltip describing the item. Right clicking an item provides a context menu containing valid actions you can perform in the context of the selected item. For example, we can add an annotation. As you can see, the annotation is instantly added to the graphical view and to the source view. The documentation can also be edited in the documentation window. Open an XML document defaults to showing the source view of the XML data. The source view provides IntelliSense linked to the context of a related schema. If I click Validate, we can see the bookstore sample is linked to the bookstore XML schema. This means that IntelliSense will only show valid items depending on the context of the data. Here I can add a book element with a title. Mandatory attributes are automatically added, and I can also add optional attributes that are valid for the book element. If I right click the book item, I can select Navigate to Definition. This opens the related schema and navigates to the book element. Going back to the XML document, I can also highlight parts of the document using the XPath Query Builder. Here I can build an XPath expression either by typing it in or by selecting items from the list. For example, I can build a query to show the prices for all the book items. The XML document editor also has a design view. This enables you to edit the document's data using trees and grids like an advanced spreadsheet. When data is updated, it is instantly reflected in both views. Selecting data in the design view highlights the text in the source view, for example, to show all the prices for each book. In this brief overview, we have seen just a few of the many features available in Liquid Studio. 
Why not take advantage of the Liquid Studio free trial and see how you can benefit from the advanced tools it provides? Please see our website for further information. Thank you.